We need melee champs and frontline. We need Nunu. That's what we need. Let's go. I don't want us to blind pick Quinn, but I can't swap with her. Why can't I not swap with Quinn? You try to swap with someone else, I guess. I think we go face rush. Actually, the Nuno rune should be pretty straightforward. I think we just go for this. And then we probably go tank Nuno. Yeah, we do. I mean, AP Nuno is really troll. Like, you don't play AP Nuno in high low if you actually want to win. But this could be good. We're up against Ramos, so we get a tank jungle matchup. Do you think a Mumu can actually be used in Challenger now? I think you can play him in Challenger, but it's going to be really hard. It, it would be like in a specific scenarios, I would say, rather than a blind pick or something. Is there one shot caller in pro teams or does everybody call stuff? It's different from team to team. Some teams have one main shot caller. Some teams have two main shot callers. Some teams just share the burden on everyone. But usually you're gonna want one who's the main voice in key moments that everyone listens to. Let's say you're in a scenario in a pro game where you are in the middle of doing Baron and then Half of the, the team screams to turn, and the other half screams to finish Baron. Someone might even ask for something else. Then there's going to be too much chaos, and you're not going to know what to do in split, uh, split second decisions, or like key moments. So you always, you know, need to have one guy that everyone listens to when, when it actually really matters. The final, most important voice, uh, so to speak. Chat, what should I order? Pizza or burger for lunch? Rectangular snake, that's an easy one, friend. I got you. I'll give you two options, actually, okay? Two options just for you. And just for you alone. Special offer. Option one, pineapple pizza. Option two, spaghetti bolognese with ketchup. You're welcome. Enjoy. Enjoy. Now, with that little uh, assistance out of the way. You're welcome, by the way. Um... We got some Nunu gaming to do. Feels so troll playing Nunu, like rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, Ramos is full red side clear. We could go have some fun with them in a moment. Uh, looks like they are gonna have some fun with us. Rolling, rolling, rolling! Let's go! See you in heaven, kids. See you in heaven, boy. <laughs> Nunu Gaming. I wonder if I can clear this in time before Ramos comes back. It's here now, but that's fine. Ideally, I don't give up this crap. Okay, I'm fine. Can I curve the snowball around all the way to Crux? Let's find out. I'm not really much of a Nunu gamer, but... Oh, curve it, curve it, curve it! Let's go! Professional Nunu, that's right. Here we go! Here we go! 
I'm on my way, Draven. I'm on my way, my boy. That's what I'm talking about. Rim room. Ramos went Swifties. He's gonna try really hard to gank people. Hmm. Who are we gonna gank? Bot lane is just hugging that turret. It's really boring. I wanna kill people! Maybe mid lane? Here it comes! Here it comes! Here it comes! That's okay. That's okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. No! I am the best at everything. What have you done? You ruined my moment! Goddamn hater. I'll remember that, Jin. I will remember that. Ramos is in Crux. No, he's not. He's actually gonna move here now. I think he realized what I'm doing. We might need Silas to help us, but let's see what happens. Looking at Sia would be great. He has no ult and flash. Oh, 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 oh! Here it comes! Get in there, boy! Come here! Oh, this movement is too good! God damn! God damn it! Almost had him. Almost. This champion is so troll, it's so hard to take the game seriously. <laughs> oh man. We're gonna find a good opportunity eventually. I know it. It's just a matter of time, guys. Don't worry about it. Soon enough, we'll pop off. Ooh. What angle, maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Two flashes. I want to drag him down. I need a base soon. I have so much gold. My Q does a thousand true damage now. So we does we do nineteen hundred with Q smite. Uh, I think we go demonic first. Let's get demonic Daxil. We want some damage. Why are you going as here? He's playing to safe. Boring. Oh no. Oh no. How are they getting double killed? We just helped them and now they're running it. Oh no. Another toxic Draven has been spotted. <laughs> oh. Bot lane is going a little wild. He doesn't want lane bot anymore. He's gonna solo lose the game if he doesn't go back. Dude, this is not happening. We're, we're ahead, we're winning. I love League of Legends. Nice player base, good times in the rift. Not bad. There's no flash in June. They got too greedy. They wanted Varus as well. This is a real monkey ass, guys. Massive monkey ass. This game went from being the freest win of our lives to the biggest monkey ass. And the worst part is there's nothing we could have done to prevent it. Because bot lane tilted and died 2v2 right after we helped them and burned enemy bot lane's flashes. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do, Riot? Really important in games like this.
act like the griefer doesn't exist. Just ignore everything Draven does. Even if it means pulling our camps and trolling us. Everything he does, he's gonna do to trigger us and ruin our game. And it's really important we don't let him. I'm 10 times stronger than Ramos still. We just need to care about Varys and Jin. <laughs> this is a really funny play. <laughs> that was so good. So freaking good. Oh, what? The tower did almost 500 damage to me. Tanked one tower shot too much. Brand, if you take next wave, I will give enemy 5 kills. Well, Brand took the wave, so let's see what happens. If you don't stop flaming them, Silas, Riot will legit ban you and not them. I'm not joking. This guy is good. Oh, shit. This guy needs to stop. This is the problem with the current punishment system. If someone trolls you, like if you flame them or if you say anything to them, you're gonna be the one getting punished and not them. It's absolutely disgusting that the system works this way, but I don't want this guy to get banned. I understand why he's upset. I don't know why I really is behind me in my jungle, but it is what it is. No, don't die when you want now. Queen is griefing as well. I told her I was on my way. And that's what she does. That's so absurd. Why can't she just wait a few seconds for me? Oh man. Quinn had two really bad 1v1 deaths. She's two levels down now after being super hurt. Like in a game like this, me, Quinn and Silas can't afford making mistakes, then we're not gonna win. It's actually impossible. trying to take this guy with me. Hmm. I think they could have won that. Quinn just kind of let him die, but I guess it's not the end of the world. It could have been worse. coming to me. I think they're on Baron. I think Baron is gone. We should just kill Aurelia and get Drake. They stopped Baron by the way. Ah, oh, that seal wall is so annoying. Well, we got Drake in a free kill. I'm being a little bit hard on Silas and Chad. I'm not hard in that sense, but I'm trying to help him. I used to be the way this guy is. The thing is, when you care a lot about solo queue, when you really want to win, and you see people on your team literally just losing on purpose and doing everything in their power to ruin your fun, it can be really, really hard not to get affected by it. It's easy to lose focus, to start lashing out, but the truth is, if we stay focused, if we just ignore whatever they're doing, first and foremost, it's not going to be as fun for someone like Draven to grief us and run it down, because he's only doing this to get attention. Like, he probably gets no attention in real life, which is sad, 
but then he's trying to get it in-game instead, and this is one way of doing so. A very bad way of doing it, but that's how it goes. But if we stop giving him attention, if we just play our game and ignore him, there's a higher chance that he's gonna step it up and start actually playing. And the rest of us can, you know, just do our thing and carry. It's gonna be a little bit tricky holding our turrets and all when we are a man down. Oh, that was huge. If Quinn can start beating I really on side lane, that would make a really big difference for us. If we get picked, we can do Baron, yes. See, I brought Silas back from his misery. You see, my strategy worked. He knows I also care. He knows we can work together and do this now. And now he's just started asking me questions and working with me, focusing on that instead of focusing on, you know, what Draven is doing. It's perfect. It's exactly what we need. Mission accomplished. We can win this game. I think this could be free if I get back up here. I keep asking for Quinn to move, but she really doesn't want to. Why is she not moving? Well, this might take so long we lose Baron from it. Quinn should have been here 15 seconds ago, but there's not much to do about it. We have to look for picks. Maybe I should have called this off when I realized Quinn was never gonna come. The thing is, if we go quick, we just kill Irelia fast and we can still make it to the Baron. But whatever, it doesn't matter now. Let's try to get this dragon. Do Drake on spawn. I'm 60 CS and 1 level up on Ramos. I'm pretty strong. We should try to burst it. Burst it, come on. These guys, come here. Just do this fast. Finish, finish, finish. Please. We need to finish Drake! I can choose smite it! Shit! They're not following my call at all. That's gonna make our chances a lot lower. Oh yeah. Okay, so we go again. There's one here. Ouch. She's very strong. We need to find a pig again on someone. We always have to try to get a pig before we fight. I think the four of us have been working relatively well together at least. It's the only reason we haven't lost yet and we've made it to 30 minutes. I can't move. I got CC locked, my bad. Hopefully Silas can run, otherwise we might lose. It's gonna get taunted. Oh man, my bad. We all die. That might be game. That's so low. We lose. I tried my best, guys. I did everything I could. But unfortunately, it was not meant to be. That was a very sad... <laughs> That game, but I still think there's some takeaways. I think we came in with the right mindset, the right attitude. We brought Silas back mentally. We did what we could. There's always gonna be games that you simply cannot win. This was one of them. Thank you for refusing to permaban players. Players like this Raven Riot. It warms my heart to witness others Griefing and ruining games on purpose without punishment. Maybe in 2037 we will start acting. Not the most enjoyable gaming experience I'll, I've had, I'll be honest with you. But we tried.